Pisces horoscope for February 2020. Welcome, dear friends. This is the monthly prediction for people who have their sun or rising sign in Pisces. And this month will be so exciting, especially for Pisces, because there are so many shifts happening in this sign. First of all, Mercury will go retrograde in Pisces after the 16th. So obviously that's a major thing we have to discuss. We have this amazing aspect between Jupiter and Neptune in Pisces. So I think it could be a great time for expansion, for spiritual healing and growth. On top of that, there is also a new moon in Pisces as well. So you are strongly triggered during the month. It's time to step up. It's time to also look more into yourself and heal the things that needs to be healed, to take spiritually aligned actions and to trust more the universe. Venus and Mars also change signs. So obviously we have many shifts during the month and we are going to talk about all of them. Let's begin now with the first aspect, which happens on the 2nd of February. We begin the month with Venus in your first house and also having a positive aspect with Pluto in 11th house. This aspect can allow you to express your emotions openly, to share them, to be empowered, to be more passionate about doing something. It could be related also to relationships, great time for dates, and also for some social projects with other people, your friends, your community, other people who inspire you. You can follow their example or you can do something together that brings you real fulfillment. Then on the 3rd of February, kind of a similar situation, Venus in first house in a positive aspect with Saturn in your 11th house. Great aspect that can help you more organized, can help you also to put your emotions in balance and under rationale or under more control in some way. And it's a great aspect also for negotiations, for communicating with groups of people, and even for work which you might enjoy. The other event on the 3rd of February is the ingression of Mercury in your first house. So, of course, it's important since Mercury will be retrograde later in the same position as well. So, Mercury allows you to be more communicative with other people, to share ideas, to express yourself. It's a great time for negotiations, for more self-analysis, and of course, the regular Mercury things like learning and traveling. Then on the 5th of February, Mercury in your first house has a positive aspect with Uranus in your third house. This is an amazing combination for new ideas, for different type of ideas, for original way of thinking, more excitement great time for traveling for learning new things and overall thinking outside of the box then on the 7th of february venus is ingressing your second house venus in second house is quite powerful because this is one of the houses venus is ruling normally and it's especially beneficial when it comes to money and finances you may find some new resources or you might receive some money. We can't promise that you will get rich just because Venus ingress is second house, of course, but there might be some small improvements or just the opportunity to enjoy buying some nice stuff for yourself or the people that you love. Then on the 9th of February, there is a full moon which triggers your sixth and 12th house. This requires some balance when it comes to your work and responsibilities. Do you push yourself too much? Do you allow yourself to take some time and to relax? That's the most important thing you should consider. Health-wise also, is there something that needs to be fixed or is there a change you need to make? Maybe some kind of habits that you need to let go of 
those are some of the major things that you can focus on. And also it could be kind of a culmination of something you have worked on career-wise. There might be some significant changes or some opportunities which can bring some real results. And this is also quite exciting when you want to change something, when you want to make some new steps and let go of things you no longer need. Then we get to one of the most interesting days during the month. On the 16th of February, Mercury turns retrograde in Pisces. Obviously, it's a big deal. And it's time for some self-reflection. Time to look deeper into your own thoughts, into your core ideas, and to find, is there something that needs to be changed, transformed, or healed? Overall, you should not start some important brand new things in the following three weeks, but instead of that, it's a nice time to complete things you have started before or to reassess them, to fix some possible mistakes you might find, and overall, reconnecting to your inner self. That's the most important. Sometimes, actually very often, um, materially or in the outer world during such a period we might find challenges. Things are not working smoothly or you are kind of unfocused or potentially you make some mistakes and that's happening because you need to step back. You need to look more into yourself. You need to pay attention more to what's happening inside of your mind, inside of your heart, and make certain changes. So everything happens for a reason, and the reason is not punishment or suffering. There is always a higher positive intent because of that, for that. So look into yourself, explore your own motivation, your own desires, your ideas, you, all kinds of personal plans and goals you might have. And change if something needs to be changed. Listen to your heart and it can be quite productive. The other important event on the 16th is the ingression of Mars in your 11th house. This position of Mars can make you more active when it comes to community work. You can take a more leading position there or initiate something which you can do together with others. Overall, this can be important for your friendships, for social projects, and for community work. Take action there, be the leader, express your thoughts openly, but be careful for confrontations. Even though Mars is not triggered by other planets currently, you still need to be careful because with Mars, sometimes you might be more impatient with people. And on the 18th of February, there is a significant change because the sun will ingress Pisces. And this, first of all, is the beginning of a new cycle, one year cycle, especially if you're Sun sign is in Pisces. You are about to have your birthday soon, so that's a fresh new start. Time to focus on the future. You can feel more energized. You may feel happier, more optimistic, more encouraged. Generally, we say this is a nice time for stepping up and taking action, but with Mercury retrograde, probably you should be cautious during the first couple of weeks. Later, things would be easier and more appropriate time for new projects. For now, it's just reconnecting to yourself, getting back your power, your courage, and preparing for a new cycle. Then we get to my personal favorite part. On the 20th of February, Neptune in your first house will have a positive aspect with Jupiter in your 11th house. Neptune and Jupiter are the two rulers of Pisces. On top of that, Neptune is in Pisces. So I cannot explain with words how significant this can be. It's a great aspect for 
inspiration, for healing, for deeper understanding, focus, dreaming about the future, visualizing, focusing on your ideals, doing something with your community, with other people. It's an amazing time for self-healing, for spiritual growth, and for doing something for other people, something that can benefit other people as well. Please, please take advantage of this. It's an amazing combination. Then on the following day, the 21st, there is another positive aspect. Mars in 11th house with Uranus in 3rd house. Taking action with other people, something exciting about your ideas which you can apply, new type of inspiration or new type of wisdom. But it's important also to take some action. Other people may provoke you, by the way, or they may encourage you to make changes. They may present some exciting ideas. So communicate with others because they may give some really valuable advices and ideas. And on the 22nd, oops, let's go back. Sorry the 22nd. The sun in first house in a positive aspect with Uranus in third house. Great time when you may feel inspired by some new ideas, new friendships can be established, and overall nice period for traveling, for sharing ideas, for learning new things, inspiration, creativity, um, Intellectual projects of any kind can be very productive and successful. And overall, you might be inspired to do something differently, to present yourself in a different way, to be extra creative, to be very original. So it's both productive and also exciting and provoking period. And after that, on the 23rd, there is a new moon in Pisces, which is also a major significant event which puts a new beginning for you time to start new stuff of course after mercury goes direct but even before that you may feel like the energy is building up like you are ready you are anticipating you are preparing for the future things you would like to start and materialize so focus on yourself on your own needs, on self-healing, self-exploration. It's a very, very important time to reconnect with yourself. And the other event on the 23rd is the square between Venus in second house and Jupiter in 11th. There could be some kind of frustration when it comes to finances or strong desires to buy something, to make some purchases. And be careful also when it comes to communicating with friends. You may find some kind of misunderstandings or misalignment of your goals and desires. Not, that's not a really stressful aspect which can bring like serious dramas or confrontations. It's more about finding the balance and the need to make certain changes. On the 24th, the sun in first house in positive aspect with Mars in 11th house may allow you to be extra motivated, to take some action, to be brave, to be optimistic, to be empowered, especially for men, because those two planets are very masculine. This aspect can help them to take action, to step up, to be brave. Of course, that's true for women as well. And just follow your calling, follow your dreams, your desires, and do something about them now. After that, on the 25th, again, your first house is triggered, this time by the Sun and Mercury retrograde, which will be in conjunction. This is a time when you should definitely look deep into yourself your own ideas, your own expectations and plans. Is there something you have to reconsider? Is there something you need to fix or change? Is there some kind of pattern that needs to be released? 
this combination can bring you a deeper self-understanding. So take some time to connect to your inner self for self-healing and just finding a different perspective. The aspect can be very positive for that. Then on the 26th of February, Mercury retro in first house in positive connection with Mars in 11th house may also allow you to find some solutions to previous tasks and take some action. You can meet some people who can inspire you to change something, to fix it. They may present some valuable ideas. And overall, this is quite dynamic. Take action and change the things that you want to change right now. And finally, on the 28th of February, Mercury retrograde in your first house will have a positive aspect with Uranus in your third house. Great aspect for meeting people from your past, maybe classmates, maybe some business partners or any other person who can present you with some valuable ideas. You can work together or just spend some quality time. Ideas from the past may also come back into your mind. So spend some time and ask yourself, what do I want to change? Um, show your readiness for the inspiration and the support. It can be extra productive for solving past issues. And the other aspect which we have is the square between Venus in your second house and Pluto in 11th house. This can create some kind of emotional frustration. Be extra careful when it comes to financial stuff. There could be some confrontation with people, with friends about this. So be very careful with the financial stuff at that point. And with this, we covered the most important events during February. As you can see, there will be so many changes triggering you, energies, shifts, the, the new moon in Pisces, Mercury retro in Pisces, Neptune in Pisces with Jupiter forming the positive aspect. Pay attention to yourself, your own well-being, your own ideas, heal what needs to be healed, find this inner self connection, and this period can bring some major personal shifts. Please let me know also in the comments what are you most excited about, and especially about this Jupiter Neptune aspect. What do you expect, and how do you feel about it? Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon.